It's now 2024 and a concerning trend shows no sign of slowing down. Influencers once vibrant and healthy continue to pass away unexpectedly. Why are so many young, seemingly healthy people from diverse backgrounds dying suddenly? In June of this year, we lost a prominent YouTuber known for running the Pretty Pastel Please channel. At just 30 years old, her passing due to lymphocytic myocarditis, a previously rare heart condition, shocked her audience. While once uncommon, this condition has appeared in multiple instances this year alone, further highlighting the alarming number of influencers dying unexpectedly and with little warning. A month earlier, in the same tragic pattern, another influencer, Farah Alardi, a talented architect, passed away suddenly from a cardiac arrest while on vacation. She was only 36 years old. Her story was quickly followed by the death of Dr. Tatiana Gallet, a viral TikTok influencer and medical professional who tragically died in March of this year. Though her exact cause of death wasn't clearly reported, there were suggestions of a potential brain aneurysm. And it's not just heart issues. Jessica Puey, another young influencer, succumbed to cervical cancer after an astonishingly fast progression. Diagnosed just the year before, she was only 36 years old at the time of her passing. This aggressive form of cancer took her life in a matter of months. Similarly, a Brazilian influencer, Lissa Boers, passed away in December after suffering a double cardiac arrest. She was just 35. What we're seeing is unsettling. A strange and troubling pattern is emerging. Women in their early to mid-30s are passing away from conditions that used to be considered rare. From heart disease to aggressive cancers, these deaths seem to defy expectations, occurring in young, often very active individuals. Many of these influencers were outspoken about their medical choices, advocating for a particular procedure. It begs the question, is there a link? While mainstream news outlets are beginning to report on these cases, it's clear there are still many unanswered questions. Heart attacks among women aged 30 to 50 are rising, as are cases of turbo cancers, an alarming term used to describe the rapid development of certain cancers. Statistics don't lie. Cancer rates have spiked dramatically since 2021, and heart disease has followed a similar trajectory. A well-known Fox News reporter recently revealed that he had been diagnosed with turbo cancer, a tragic twist given that his wife had also been diagnosed with cancer just a short time before. The chances of both partners in a relationship developing cancer at nearly the same time are rare, yet it happened to them. These stories, heartbreaking and deeply unsettling, leave us asking, what is really going on? But the concerns don't stop with cancer. Heart disease is also rising sharply, and scientists are baffled. Since the pandemic, there has been a notable spike in heart disease deaths, particularly among younger adults, those under 40. This is especially alarming as heart failure deaths were once predominantly seen in older individuals. In England, the number of deaths from heart and circulatory diseases among people under 75 has reached the highest level in over a decade. Life expectancy in both the US and the UK is plummeting. Harvard University reports that US life expectancy has dropped to 76.4 years, the lowest in almost 20 years. The UK is experiencing a similar decline with life expectancy hitting its lowest level in over a decade. One of the more troubling trends is the rise in heart attacks among young, active women. These women, many in their 30s, are experiencing heart problems at an alarming rate and doctors are left searching for answers. The media, eager to provide explanations, have offered a range of dubious theories from extreme weather changes to sleep issues as potential causes of the rise in heart disease, but does this really make sense? In some instances, the media points to misdiagnosis as the reason for the sudden uptick claiming that doctors are now better equipped to recognize these issues. Other outlets like Cosmopolitan suggest that women are receiving subpar treatment due to sexism in the medical field. However, these explanations seem to fall short in explaining such a sharp rise in both heart disease and cancer among younger people. The more plausible answer may lie in certain medical interventions from the past few years. We're three years on, and the consequences are becoming harder to ignore. While the effects may not be immediate, we are now seeing these issues manifest in an increasing number of people, sometimes years after the fact. What's most concerning is that this trend shows no signs of stopping. Are we witnessing the start of a long-term health crisis? As time goes on, we may continue to see more individuals affected by these sudden, unexplained health problems. It's a disturbing thought but one that demands our attention. For those who have undergone specific medical procedures, now is the time to take action. It's essential to prioritize your heart and circulatory health. 
Whether or not it's possible to fully mitigate the potential risks remains unclear, but doing all that you can to protect yourself is crucial. I encourage everyone to stay informed and proactive about their health. This is not an easy topic to discuss, but it's one that cannot be ignored. I'll continue to follow this story and bring you updates as more information becomes available. Stay safe and thank you for watching. See you next time.